Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Today we have a very exciting video. We're gonna be checking out this F90 M5. It's a 2019 M5 competition. It is tuned and we're gonna be running it up against my M2. We're also gonna be doing some draggy testing and overall just having a lot of fun. Um, just so you guys know, the spec sheet, the M5, it's around 42, 4,300 pounds. The M2 is around 3,800 pounds, but the M5 has 617 horsepower from the factory. The M2 has 453 but the M5 is tuned. But you gotta keep in mind the conditions. The conditions are 100 degrees outside, 2,500 feet elevation, around 6,000 feet DA, and we're both on 91 octane. So the M5 is not performing as good as it should perform, but definitely stay tuned. This one here is a competition. See, it's an Alpine white. We've got these upgraded 20 inch wheels and tires on there. Pilot support for us. Looks like we've got 295s in the front and we got 305s in the back. A nice little spoiler on there. And this one isn't stock, this one does have a tune. All right, guys, we are in the M5. Really nice interior. We've got heated and cooled seats. Got the M shifter there. We got massage seats too. Oh, massage seats as well. These seats feel really comfortable. They have the nice bolsters, but they're still really soft. They have the nice, I think uh, M5s have merino leather, so it's super nice in here. Feels good, I have tons of room, I'm 6'6". Six, six. Tons of room inside here, feels great. All right guys, we are cruising in the M5. This one is tuned by Noel Performance. So on their website, they claim 850 crank horsepower. We're here in Vegas using 91 octane, so it might not be um, you know, as optimal as it could be. So you're in paddle shifter mode right now? Yeah, I'm in I'm in manual. Okay. <clears throat> which is what I always stay in. DSC off, four wheel drive sport, and everything is a sport plus. So this is automatic because drive is up. Yeah, see, this is the D. Mm -hmm. So if I if I kick down, now you're in manual. <clears throat> no, I'm still in drive. Watch. It. See, we're in manual. How come it goes back sometimes? <laughs> so in order to use launch control, you do have to be in a sequential mode, but don't use the paddles because once you're in launch control mode, it will shift automatically. Okay, so you're gonna laugh at me. I've never even done launch control on this. That's okay, I'll show you how, how to do use it. it. I've never done it, I wanna try it. By the way guys, I brought the draggy so we can see how quick the M5 is. This is with both of us in here, by the way, and it's 100 degrees outside, so it's not gonna be as fast as it probably would normally be, um, but we're still gonna see what it's like. So put your left foot on the brake and then stomp the gas, but keep your foot on your left foot on the brake. Like and stomp it all the way? Yeah, but don't let go of the brake yet because it'll, it'll build the launch control. So try it. I'm not letting go of the brake. Okay, okay. <laughs> what was going on right now? So as you guys can tell, we were having a little bit of trouble getting the launch control to work. The car kept pushing through the brakes even when we would stomp on the brake pedal. Uh, the next clip you'll see is me trying to do a launch control. He let me drive it. So we're going to go ahead and skip to that clip real quick. I'm recording. Trap speed's good. 
All right, guys, here's a draggy test that we got. This is obviously with two people in the car. It's 100 degrees outside. You guys can see the conditions. Um, the launch control wasn't really working properly. Um, this is a little bit slower than like a stock M5 would do in like great conditions. Um, but this is just the time that we got. All right, guys, you just let me drive the M5. Lots of fun. We did a little draggy test. Um, we couldn't really get the launch control to work 100% perfect, but we got 11.5 at 125. So it's definitely trapped and really high, trapped higher than my M2's ever trapped. So when we do our uh, little roll a little bit later, um, it should beat me based off of the trap speed. Okay, I'm ready now. All right, go ahead and knock it off. Okay. You just, just to... You just need to be in better well, temperatures because my car doesn't seem to really get affected by the heat that much well this car the corvette is but this car also is okay, uh, all right now honk it off Right, guys just got back from mexico i want to hear what you guys think of the results in the comments below um, obviously since the m5 is tuned uh, we expect it to be a lot faster um, but with 91 octane 100 degrees outside our conditions and stuff um, you can see the m2 performs very well in the heat doesn't really seem to be affected that much so it can put up with a lot of cars that would normally be a lot faster but we are going to get a rematch with the m5 once the weather cools down to like 40 50 degrees because I'm like 99% sure the M5 will absolutely destroy the M2 once it's in the cooler temperatures. But if you guys enjoyed this video, definitely give it a like and subscribe. And I will see you in the next one.